Hey, how's it going? Yeah, you. Sorry if you saw the menu there, but I needed to do things. Welcome back to more Pokemon Black and White 2. It's the nerd. And in the last episode, we took care of the final two Elite Four members, Marshall and Caitlyn. Out of order, I know, but in order it was Caitlyn and then Marshall. This episode, we will be taking on our final trainer for the story mode. And probably the final chapter of this Let's Play. Or part, at least. I will discuss that later. Right now, let's just move on and let's get this whatever's going on over with. You know, this this is familiar. And you may be thinking, is the champion the same one as it was before? Look at this, it's in fresh condition, so it must took like many, many, many Poké Dollars to fix. But who's the champion, you may ask? None other than... That's right. Iris. She is the true champion. And we had to take her on. So for this one, luckily I do have the Bulbapedia moves here, so... Oh my gosh, this is... Okay. Watch this, you guys. Wait for it, wait for it. No, the Japanese! That... Okay, this has to be the best versus. If I'm going to first the champion, it has to be like that. That makes the other champions versus look like crud. And we are on Rainbow Road. So luckily I do have the move sets for these Pokemon here. So she's gonna start off with Hydreigon at level 57 with the move Surf, Flamethrower, Dragon Pulse, and Charge Beam. So my best bet here is to safely go into Dawn, even though I know it won't be doing as much. But I have a strategy- Dragon Pulse? Okay, I thought it was gonna go straight for Charge Beam. But I guess it doesn't. Never mind about the strategy thing. But at least is able to take out at take at least deal a couple dragon pulses. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is not gonna get. Okay, please don't be okay. Yes, it is a crane. Oh my gosh, that's lucky. Holy crud, that was a luck. That's a lucky start. <laughs> I had no idea that would get a crane. That's awesome. So like, please don't be a crane. It is. Uh, now she's gonna settle her Lapras. So my strategy for this Lapras here. I know that the Lapras is quick as heck. So my strategy is to at, if it can if it lives at least one surf from this Lapras, which I highly doubt it would. By the way, besides that it has Surf, Ice Beam, Thunderbolt, and Sing. I'm pretty sure Alana will have no trouble, so let's see. Yes, bacon is faster, so therefore it is able to get off a of bulldoze. And now it should be sick to Okay, Sing. Um, I wasn't expecting that <laughs> at all. I thought I was gonna be using like server or something to like, kill me. That's kind of weird because I, I have a strategy. <laughs> okay, now okay, now it's going for surf. So like, legitimately <laughs> thinking to myself, why the heck <laughs> is it going <laughs> for sing? That's what I was thinking. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, that was gonna go straight for Surf! Oh, Thunderbolt, okay. So, I guess she's really nice. So, I'm gonna have to sacrificing my own starter just to get this thing off. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You know this. Since episo the episode where Tengal got us his seismic toad. Battle Dance of Death! I shouldn't be doing this at night, then, you know, whatever. I just had to get it over with. You can't survive the pedal dance of de death! Not even if you tried. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's epic winning. So, so far, this thing has been decently easy. Uh, Dredagon. Now, I think this one has sheer force. Okay, so Dredagon, I believe, is at level 58. No, level 57. And then those moves Focus Blast, Rock Slide, Flamethrower, and Dragon Tail. So probably a stupid idea of me going into Dragon knowing, I mean, yeah, the girls, knowing it have Flamethrower. <laughs> but you know what? I'm taking the risks. I think I can get up a Rock Polish, because I know this thing's slower, so I think that's gonna be my strategy. You just go straight for the Rock Polish. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Um, let's see. Flamethrower, I'm not relying on the special defense to take care of it. And 
Wow! Okay, that was actually kind of surprisingly. Um, okay, I I'm liking this so far. This is decently easy. I thought it was going to be harder. I thought it was like going to be up to the 60s or something like that. But this is surprisingly easy. Gosh darn it. It's not making this easy. Oh my gosh! Another crit on an ice type move! <laughs> Game! After all the trouble you caused me, you're making this champion fight too easy on me. I want to enjoy the music too! <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, now she's going to send out her Agron and... Let's go for Donald. I am honestly sure that Donald is able to do something with his Agron because knowing that Agron has like the worst special defense out of all her Pokemon. Anyways, is that level 57 moves Earthquake, Stone Edge, Automize, and Rock Slide. She is going to use Automize to speed up her Agron. So my best and safest thing and advice is to take it out as soon as possible because if it uses Automize, your team is wrecked. So there we go, that... Okay, I'm surprised! This is easier than the Elite Four battles. <laughs> what the heck? Um, actually, you know what? Let's go... Let's give every Pokémon a chance, because in the end, we're all family. So, this time, let's go into Zwart. Let's finish it off. And let's do it right. You know what I'm saying, Brawls and Hoes? Uh, sorry to be out of here that. <laughs> But this is, oh my gosh, this is surprisingly easier than I thought it was going to be. So let's see, that Dark Pulse is actually going to take it out. And you know what? I'm a fire in my laser! <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! I had no idea this would be like the easiest battle in the world. By the way, the Hacksaws had Earthquake, x or Dragon Dance, and Dual Chop. Oh, she has one more. <laughs> I, I totally forgot she had one more. So, now let's finish it off the way it's supposed to. <laughs> Didn't even know that. Crap, let me get the moves up real quick before she sends it out. <laughs> that was done, but it wasn't. So this Arceus is at level 57 with the moves Acrobatics, Rock Slide, Dragon Claw, and Endeavor. The reason I decided to swap it into Metagross is able to take things like a boss. Not only that, but yeah, it's got Rock Slide plus its Defiant ability. Whenever it's below half its HP, its attack and defense gets lowered. So it's a good thing if you want to take it out earlier, or if you want to wait until it's like in the Defiant. But it was easily taken out, okay. Okay, I have to admit, this is the easiest champion battle. And I went through heck with Platinums. The kid, this is, okay, I understand the luck coming from the Ice Beam and the Ice Punch. But other than that, this is a piece of cake! It would unique teammates too! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, you make me do all the training just to find out that I had to go through the easiest champion fight once I know what I was doing. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. I'm just. I'm just, I'm speechless at this point. This was the easiest battle ever. Champion battle, it is. So here we are at the uh, Champion Palace. Again, I wonder how many Poké Dollars they have to do to fix it. I mean, seriously, that must have took like millions and millions. Either that or like thousands. Something like that. I'm not completely sure. From here, you guys, this is our ticket to the end of the story mode. Or the finale, as you like to call it. Pokemon Black and White 2. So, without further ado, uh, I hope I remember all the moves for each of the Pokemon. So, Goldak, level final level, level 58 with the moves. Surf, Waterfall, Ice Beam, and whatever move. So work with Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, Toxic, and Hyper Beam. Crowbat with X Scissor, Cross Poison, Fly, and X Scissor. I believe I said that twice. Metagross with the moves. Meteor Mash, Psychic, Rock Polish, and... I forgot the other move. Level Game with Leech Seed, <laughs> Giga Dream, Pedal Dance, and... I forgot the move anymore with Heat Crash, Hammer Arm, Return, and... Dolls. I think Lilligan's last move, Giga Drain, okay, let me rephrase some of that, because I messed up. Ah, uh, forget that, I forgot most of the moves already. <laughs> this is embarrassing. 
<laughs> not totally worth it. Because this is the end of Pokemon Black and White 2. Now, oh, we get the assist mode, which is unlocked. So the assist mode is basically for like little kids and stuff like this is what I want to talk about about the assist mode. Um, assist mode basically is the easier version, so... <laughs> they could have given that to us in the first place, so I don't know. Assist mode is pretty an easy one. I'm pretty sure they also have the challenge mode. Either that or... That was it? Okay, I had no idea. But yeah, that is the end of Pokemon Black and White 2. Now, you may be wondering, what am I going to be doing for the um, after game stuff? Oh, by the way, this is the end of Season 1 of Black and White 2. I'm going to talk about it after we're done with the fireworks. Because, baby, I'm a firework. I'm going to let my colors burst. I'll make them go, uh, uh, uh. Okay. <laughs> I needed to do that, but at the same time, I have no idea why the hell I decided to do that. But yeah, as I said before, for the like third or fourth time, after walking out, the Elite Four members and the champion, this has been Pokemon Black and White 2, but mainly Pokemon White 2. And I have to say, this has been a fun LP, and I did this in 25 episodes. Normally, a lot of trainers would do this in like maybe, I mean, LPRs, not traders. <laughs> LPRs would do this in like maybe like. 50 parts or something like that, but I was took the challenge and make this 25 parts, so that's halfway out. I know there's a lot of people that have beaten me in that sort of time and stuff like that, but overall, it's totally worth it. And as for the main parts, as for like the after game, I probably will be doing some of it. Some that I might find interesting, or you know, just things like that. I'm not doing the whole thing because I know there's like a lot of LPs that have done the whole game, like even the after stuff, but most of the other stuff I wouldn't be surprised at when I get the official English release. Which comes out on October 17th. Speaking of October, uh, not October 17th, um, October 8th in the US. But eight days after that, Madagascar 3 comes out, and personally I'm not getting that on DVD. I mean, I enjoyed the movie, like it's a decent movie in my opinion, like the, there's some things they could have done better, like you know, made, I mean, so many humor is great in that movie, but so many humor and storylines, it's just too random. It's like, I, I, with the storyline, you kind of follow along with it, like, during the first scenes of it. But once it gets to the circus, it's like, it, it just gets, like, to the point where the main story is not the focus anymore. And that's a really downside to a movie and stuff like that, so I didn't like it as much as most of you did for Madagascar 3. So, um, I don't know why I talked about that, but yeah, I did. So that's one DVD I'm going to be avoiding because I'm really going to be focusing on a t uh, not Tangled, I almost said Tangled, but Brave because I actually did enjoy that movie better than Madagascar 3, but at the same time I did. Um, I really want to see the movie called, um, if you guys don't know, there's a movie coming out called Wreck-It Ralph which is basically kind of like a video game kind of movie. So it has like most of the video game characters in them. Like I have I played Street Fighter and I've played like other arcade games like Pac-Man and Tekken. I think Tekken's in the movie, I'm not sure. But if you guys have seen the trailer for it, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, go check out the trailer, it's awesome. But that's definitely a movie I want to see. So Black and White 2 is on my mind in the fall as well as Wreck-It Ralph. So those are the two things I really want to primarily focus on. Yes, I express my love to Alyssa. Did I miss Skyla? Dang it, I did miss Skyla. You know what, whatever. It doesn't matter. So yeah, I think. Now for the after story, because I know I'm already do, planning on doing after the after game stuff for Pokemon Emeralds. So that might come either after Pokemon Emeralds after story stuff, or they might come at like random times when I feel like it. Plus the after game stuff will be season two for the show, in case you guys didn't know it's a show already. It's in the bottoms, it's in the bottom of the video, guys. Get with the time zone. But yeah, this has been Pokemon Black and White 2, and I gotta say, this has gotta be one of my favorite Pokemon projects, not my favorite project, like, in general. There's, like, one really good uh, game that I actually have in mind for a favorite project. But other than that, this was really enjoyable to do, and 
despite all my rage you guys might have seen off on screen and my rage off screen, I think it was totally worth it. And I, again, really can't wait until the release comes out in English. Oh, there's an English Ram! That's so sweet that they're together. Oh yeah, isn't Regiran catchable or something like that afterwards? But I'm really glad they added N in this story. He was like the main plot of this. <sighs> but yeah, I think that's all you have to say. But I definitely really truly want to thank you guys for sticking, staying tuned and stuff like that. I know I'm surprised episode 1 got like over 3,000 views. That was not what I was hoping for <laughs> in like, in my time being. So I don't know. But yeah, I think this this has turned out to be such a great Let's Play. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. And if I do after game stuff, I hope you guys stick around for that. So, I think this concludes my talking for such a long time. And this concludes Pokemon Black and White 2, the story mode, if I ever do the after game stuff. So until the next episode of Pokemon Emerald or Career, right? Or whatever I do. This is the Nerd, signing out. Peace out. That's so cute, it's the end in Japanese.